Hi, this is Stephen Brower of Raritan Valley Community College. This is for Computer Literacy Summer 2017. Think of this video as being more of an addendum for Chapter 4. There's just a, a few network things that uh, I do want to get into. Now, I'm, I'm going to have a video on the PC side for what I'm about to do. This is the Mac side for what I'm about to do. Well, what I'm about to do is um, I have a Linksys router. And on the Linksys router, I have a, uh, well, there's a USB port, and I have plugged in there a 4 terabyte drive. And that has become, it sounds like, a file server that multiple computers I have uh, that can access. Um, but So here on the Mac, and what I'm going to do is, this is something I um, literally need to do. <laughs> so I'm just recording an action I would have done. Um, and, and what I want to do, and I'm, I'm going to pretend I don't see the files over here, is um, two of the videos that I have recorded, um, which is the, uh, um, this is the, I didn't rename it yet, but this is going to be the uh, uh, command prompt version or addendum for the Mac, and this is the GUI version for the Mac. Um, this was a first draft that didn't go well. Um, and anyway, these two right here, what I want to do is I want to put it up on my uh, file server. Um, so now I, I will admit I had to look into Linksys to figure out how I can connect my Mac because uh, it was a, a little bit different. And what I found is uh, that if I do go and then connect to server, now since I already had typed it, it did come up here, but now this is the Linksys documentation uh, is smb colon um, uh, forward slash forward slash and then the address of the router. Well, um, the router address, the way I access it from here, is 192.168.1.1. That usually is sort of the default. Um, um, well, anyway, uh, well, there are other routers where it's like 10.0.0.100 or something like that. Anyway, that's where my router is. And so let me go and click Connect. Okay. So, um, and let me... I'm, the reason why I'm moving them sort of side by side is I do want to do a copy from uh, one to another. Now, this um, um, drive that I have, this 4 terabyte drive, um, which I have about um, 2 terabyte used, part of the reason is that actually a lot of my TV shows that I record, <laughs> I kind of keep backed up here, and then my pictures, I have years and years and years of uh, pictures. But what I want to do for this is I want to go into... Um, the video folder that I have um, um, for this uh, class. Um, so these are the other videos that I had recorded that I backed up on the server. Um, these are the ones that um, some of you have labored listening to so far. And so what I want to do is I want to take uh, these two files um, and um, copy them, oops, I'm sorry, and copy them over. So I'll do a drag and drop on this one file here. And I'll do a drag and drop on this other file here. And so now both of them are backed up on my um, file server that I have, this link says file server. So this is a way in a sense I can have, um, you know, well, one is a way I can back up material I have. The other thing is if I have dissimilar computers, it is one way instead of setting up peer-to-peer -peer communication between the computers, if all I need to do is share files, then I can use that as a, as a file server. What I have not done in terms of um, something the Linksys router can do, uh, oh, actually, it's enabled, but I haven't really done it that much, it is to use media sharing. So uh, when I made that comment before about those videos that I actually have up here, um, you know, the ones for um, um, my, my recordings, what I haven't gone into is the, is the better way to actually go and um, sort of share uh, uh, those videos. Anyway, so um, I think that's enough for this uh, addendum.